So it goes without saying guys that 2018 was a year of various fluctuation and also the bearer of some interesting news. From the increase of fuel prices to the fall of various airlines, we've seen the whole spectrum of drama unfolding. Now in this video we'll briefly be going over all of the main headlines of 2018 and we'll see how some of these headlines could have an impact on the year going forward. So first and foremost, let's start with Trump. We know that his administration introduced heavy tariffs on certain products aimed at Europe, Canada and also China. Now this was mostly due to the fact that he wants to implement his slogan on making America great again and he wants to encourage local spending. Now in terms of airlines, well it's not that difficult to read behind the lines of him wanting the American carriers to purchase aircraft from Boeing. The more he can encourage the American economy, the more it will make him look good. Now this might have a threat on the global economic development and what this means for Brexit we're not exactly sure but we can see him making strides to better the position of aviation in the states. Now the next issue is regarding the fuel prices. We know that fuel is king in the aviation economy. Unless you have the opportunity to hedge your fuel price, then it's going to become very difficult to keep your economics on a level playing field. Fuel has steadily been on the rise and this has proven to be a challenge for their airlines. Now the price of a barrel of fuel has slowly been rising to around $85. Although some airlines have been able to manage this effectively, the higher fuel price has contributed to profit warnings for many airlines across the world. We all know what this means for us passengers, higher fuel prices means higher fares. So let's move on to the more interesting stuff and this is the drama regarding airlines. Now the airline to cease operations this year was Primera, which was grounded before they attempted to tackle their long haul transatlantic missions. We know that transatlantic flights is a goldmine if it's done correctly. There was also a huge amount of doubt surrounding the European carry of Norwegian after IAG bid for the airline. Now we've heard many rumours and speculations of various investors wanting to buy the airline but Norwegian has resisted. IAG however remains a small shareholder and also a potential buyer and they're continuing to watch the progress of the airline as the months go by. Perhaps one day we'll see them buy the airline but at this moment in time, I don't think it's going to happen. Now in terms of buying our airlines, well there was a lot of attention surrounding the future of WOW Air. We know that the acquisition by Iceland Air has unfortunately failed and there's no other way to say it unfortunately. But there does seem to be a hope at the end of the tunnel because a low cost investment group called the Indigo Partners has emerged as a potential investor for their airline. We'll just have to wait and see how all of this will turn out. So, we know that Air Berlin collapsed and Alitalia is struggling by a considerable amount. Well, a year later, the story is still continuing to play out. Etihad has pulled their investment out of Alitalia and the senior management of Air Berlin are still in the process of suing Etihad for mishandling the airline. Unfortunately, this has impacted the Abu Dhabi carrier themselves, with the management of the airline restructuring and also tackling the problems internally. There's also been fresh talk of a mega tie-up with Emirates, but there's very little evidence so far that there's any more political will for this to happen. The news of Etihad without a doubt will continue into the following year and it will be interesting to see just how all of it will unfold. Now there's nothing more interesting than a CEO of an airline making threats that they're going to leave and that's exactly what the CEO of Qatar Airways has done. Now on many occasions, the CEO Al Bikir has said that his airline are threatened to walk out of one world, putting much of the blame on its relation with American Airlines while the US carriers have gone under attack over Qatar Airways involvement with expanding Air Italy. One airline however that is definitely quitting a global alliance is the SkyTeam carrier China Southern Airlines. The airline is not willing to renew their membership of SkyTeam next year as they plan to follow their strategy of pursuing partnerships with global carriers. Now in terms of the Indian market, well they've also faced a lot of trouble. It's been a tough year for them where overcapacity and fierce competition coupled with a rising cost and recurrency environment has seen many airlines in that region struggling. The year began with a failure to secure any bidders for the stake in Air India and was followed by airlines such as Jet Airways, Indigo and SpiceJet all complaining about losses in their profits in the second quarter. Now the biggest problem highlighted was the problems at Jet Airways as they struggled on their journey of major restructuring and also seeking to raise capital to pay off their debts. Unfortunately, it's still bad news for them but the surprising thing is, is that they're still going forward so that's good news for their airline. 
Now, the biggest news in the US market came when the founder of JetBlue and Azul, Neilman, confirmed his intentions to launch a new startup airline in 2021. Now, this deal was sealed when he struck a deal with Airbus for 60 of the new A220s at this year's Farnborough Air Show. And finally, in terms of airports, well, Turkey has opened their new mega hub at Istanbul, work has unfortunately stopped at the New Mexico City airport following a referendum, and a third runway for London Heathrow is inching ever closer, with the UK government finally endorsing the plan. So there you go captains, that was a brief overview of the main headlines that appeared in 2018. There's no doubt about it that it's been a roller coaster of a journey, with all of the good, the bad and the ugly. Now it'll be interesting to see what 2019 has in store for us. And for those people who are Boeing fans, well guys, get ready for the first test flight of the 777X because it's just around the corner. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, give it a like and consider subscribing, leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll catch you guys very soon.